Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to differentiate routed protocols and routing protocols. The two terms are used interchangeably all the time and sometimes incorrectly. And although the, the concepts behind each one are, are pretty simple and straightforward, if you don't know them, it could be kind of confusing since the words are so similar. They're based on the same word route. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We'll begin with routed protocols. And a routed protocol is a protocol that can be used to send user data, user packets, through a network. So routed protocols actually do work. They, they're the things that actually get a packet from point A to point B. And so, well, what does that mean exactly? Well, a router, which is enabled with IP, Internet Protocol, is one of the most common routed protocols you'll hear to, about today. There's version 4 and the up-and-coming version 6 you've heard about by now. And a router will have a route table, an IP route table. And that's where it'll store all the information it knows, all of the IP addresses and routes um, that it is aware of. And when a router receives an IP packet, there is an IP header, and inside that IP header is a bunch of information that the router uses to then determine what it should do with that packet. And so it, it uses the packet, it, it uses this IP routing table, and together it can actually then do some work and send the packet on its way. So that's a routed protocol. They do the work. A routing protocol is a little bit different. They do a different kind of work. Let's say I can give the best directions on how to get to New York City, and you can give the best directions to anybody about how to get to Chicago. Well, that's great, but if you and I can't exchange information and I need to get to Chicago, well, I'm, I'm only going to be able to get to New York City. Well, a routing protocol, if there were one between you and me, would enable us to exchange our information on our particular our routes, our directions on how to get to New York and, and Chicago. So the routing protocol will enable me to know how to get to Chicago, and it would enable you to not only know how to get to Chicago, but to also know how to get to New York City. So between routers, it's the same thing. A routing protocol will enable two routers to share their IP tables and to exchange the information in there. So that way, both routers will end up having the same routing table. And these routing protocols are dynamic, meaning when something changes on the network, perhaps a server dies or a PC goes offline, a routing table could change because of that. And routing protocols will dynamically share that information with everybody. So if I get new information on how to get to New York a faster way, my routing protocol would automatically share that with you, and that way you would have up-to-date information as I have it, and vice versa. Some examples of routing protocols are RIP. There's RIP version 2. You've heard of EIGRP, perhaps, and OSPF. Those are some of the more popular routing protocols used on networks to exchange routing information. And that's it, really. Those are the two uh, concepts, routed protocols and routing protocols. Just to summarize, routed protocols do the work. Think IP. Routing protocols exchange information. And examples of them would be RIP and OSPF, for example. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.